Hi, my name is Fabio Valle. I am responsible for the agronomic development of the ICL company in Brazil. I, uh, I would like to thank you for the opportunity to present this research, Polar Light in Nutrition, Yield and Quality of the Origin Crop in Brazil, which was conducted by myself and by Dr. Renato Agnello Silva from the company Manterra, which is supported by Patricia Imas from ICL Israel. First of all, an overview of, of citriculture in Brazil. Uh, we have an area about uh, 600,000 hectares with the crop in Brazil, with a consumption of 400,000 tons of fertilizer, high consumption of fertilizer, especially nitrogen and potash sources. And uh, we are using a lot of KCL in our fertilizations. The average fruit yield here in Brazil is uh, nowadays 29 tons per hectare of fresh fruits. Much of these fresh fruits is for domestic consumption as fruits or, or juices. But a part is, uh, big part is destined to a production of, of frozen concentrated orange juice, FCOJ. And in 2020, the, the county produced around 2.1 million tons of juice, orange juice, concentrated orange juice, and they generate $1.5 billion in income to the county. Talking about the, the uh, citrus nutrition uh, related, especially in potash, calcium, magnesium, and so forth, it's a crop which has a, a high potassium consumption, okay, uh, uptake and offtake, according to this table, it's supposed to see adapted from Matos et al. 2003, with consequent high fertilization uh, with potash. Uh, normally, it rates that he reach up 300 kilos per hectare of K2O, and the common fertilizer is KCL. High, uh, the crop presents high calcium and uptake and offtake, intense magnesium and sulfur of, uh, offtake. Calcium and magnesium supplied by limestone in totally dependent uh, of the rates totally dependent of the pH, then supplied some years, no all years, supplied the calcium and magnesium. Because of this, because the right rates of potash and the sometimes application of calcium magnesium is very common to see in the field, competitive inhibition of calcium and magnesium uptake, and the deficiencies are increasing and can reduce yield and quality of fruits and orange juice. Because of this, we, we prepared this trial to end the, 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 the research was to evaluate the efficiency of polyalite as fertilizer to sweet orange crop in Brazil evaluate the potential to supply calcium, magnesium, and sulfur to increment yield and quality of fruit. Remember about polyalite. Polyalite is a natural fertilizer. It's a rock with content sulfate, sulfates of potash, calcium, and magnesium. It's a natural fertilizer, practically free of chloride and sodium, lower salinity rate compared with KCL. It can be used in the form is extracted. Natural form is used directly in the field. The rock is extracted at the deep 1,200 meters and then crushed and sieved to, to generate the granules, natural granules, according to the spot you see at the right. Interesting characteristics is the prolong, uh, prolonged availability of nutrients, according to how you comment in the next slides. The trial was located in the southeast of Brazil, in Sao Paulo State, Mojiguassu City, is an important city to produce uh, citrus. Uh, an average rainfall of uh, 1,048 1, millimeters per year, with the average temperature 21.6 degrees Celsius. This is a peak uh, from farm and the, the location of the, the, the trial in a uh, in a field, the coordinators are below the peak. The, the, the description, the, uh, the characterization of the, 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 the trial in terms of crop trial was made in a commercial orchard containing 357 plants per hectare with the, the variety natural sweet, natal sweet orange planted in 2007 when I started the trial, uh, the, the orchard which is nine years old, okay? Before I started this, the, the, the trial leaf sample, uh, were taken to evaluate the status of uh, nutrition. The soil wa was an wood soil with medium to poor fertility. Uh, soil samples were taken to characterization of the, the, the soils, the soil before starting trial. 
this is the, the general the characterization of soil in the soil sample is a, a typical clay acidic soil with potential response to fertilization because the low fertility in potash and magnesium and medium fertility in calcium and sulfur. Leaf analysis showed the low content in potash, magnesium and sulfur in medium content in calcium. The, the trial was conducting with six treatments distributed in four blocks, totaling 24 plots. The plots uh, uh, had, each plot had uh, 15 plants, uh, three rows of, of plants, uh, five plants per row. Uh, in the row, that each plant is, is with the, the space in four meters, okay? And this is the, the, the design of the, 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 the plot. And the three central plants per plot were evaluated other considered as bodies, these this red, this red plants. In terms of the treatments, we are in table below, consisted in supply 300 kilos per hectare of K2O uh, with blends of two sources, KCL and polylite, uh, reducing KCL increment in polyalite to maintain the same rate of K2O and increasing rates of calcium, magnesium, and sulfur according to what you see in the table. All, all plots received 200 kilos per hectare of nitrogen as urea uh, source. In 2017, it was made the first fertilization, January 2007, in a handling application distribution of where it is described in the, in the, the, the slide. First the harvest was made in December 2017. It was considered a white harvest without yield evaluation, only to leveling, leveling the nutritional status of plants in function to be a perennial crop. In 2018, it was made the second fertilization in January 2018, same location of the, the, product, the product and the number of installments. In September 2018, it was made a leaf analysis in all plots. Uh, in December 2018, the second <clears throat> the final harvest, evaluate the number of fruits per tree, the diameter of fruits in centimeter, and the weight of fruits in grams. Uh, was calculate the yield of fruits in ton per hectare. Uh, and it, after 20 fruits of each plot was sent to industry to quality analysis, evaluate the percentage of juice in fruits, the total solid solids concentration expressed in Brick's degree. And the ratio, the taste of the, 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 the juice, the relation the bricks agree by acidity of juice, and it was calculated total content of soluble solids per area. Data were tested, apply F test, and the variables were adjusted by regression and the correlation model analysis. And here I will present the next slide. This first slide uh, is representing the effect of treatments on the concentration of calcium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, and the sulfur in leaves. First of all, the, this graph about the potassium in leaves uh, in the index uh, are the increasing of polyalite and reducing KCL where the table of tratamento uh, I presented. Uh, <coughs> for, uh, for potassium, no significant correlation was observed between the increment in polyalite and replacing KCL and maintaining the same rate, is important, the same rate of K2O was supplied in all treatments. <clears throat> the minimum, remember the minimum adequate level of nutrients according to all 2005 is uh, 10 grams per kilo of potassium in leaves. Uh, it's, it's possible to see two distinct groups uh, in the graph. The, 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 group, the group below is uh, the the limit of are in the limit of nutrition where, where I know apply uh, only apply KCL or the, the low rates of uh, polyalite low concentration then the group where uh, we uh, applied more polyalite replacing KCL okay no significant effect but this seems to indicate a greater <coughs> availability of potassium from polyalite perhaps do its gradual solubility and the level of potassium according to the It is very important characteristic of the product. For calcium, magnesium, and sulfur, uh, there was 
there were significance between the increment of polyalite rate and the leaf concentration for these three nutrients, especially for calcium and magnesium. Uh, the value is in, 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 leaf, in leaf. Uh, always lower than adequate. The adequate value for calcium leaves 35 kilo, grams per kilo of leaves and the magnesium 3.5 grams per kilo. All data is with the low value, okay? But uh, uh, it's possible that the different lines re replacing KCL by, by polyalite, it's possible to see the super, super, supplement of the, these nutrients increasing in the leaves. Uh, it's, it's confirmed that the farm's fertilization management for these two nutrients may not be contemplated the adequate source of these two nutrients. It is, this increment uh, is a uh, case uh, interesting to, to favor the, 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 can be important in increasing fruit yields and even the quality of the juice. For sulfur, uh, despite the concentration being adequate, even where it was not applied, polyalite can be a differential if used in areas which allow concentration of nutrients. The second slide is, this, this next slide, I will present the effect of tratament on the size and the yield fruits, okay? <clears throat> this first slide, no significant effect uh, uh, in relation of increment of polyalite rates and the number of fruits per tree, okay? The, uh, but, uh, uh, even with the no occurrence of significant difference, uh, it's possible to see the application of polyalite show the clear tendency of inc increment of number of fruits, which may be due the, to the better plant nutrition, especially magnesium and calcium. Okay? Uh, however, the, the application of polyalite significantly increase, increases the diameter of fruits an important parameter for the, 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 the commercialization of fresh, fresh, uh, fresh fruits, bigger fruits, okay? Uh, because, uh, even though the significance increment in the fruit weight, the polyalite tended to form heavier fruits due to the better nutrition. Uh, and uh, because of the better nutrition favoring the, the, an inc increment in fruit in pear tree and the fruit weight in addition to the significant increment in the fruit diameter, there was a significant increment in fruit yields in tons per hectare when I applied polyalite and they reduced KCL in fertilization. The regression uh, adjusted the rate was 400, 458 kilos per hectare of polyalite in, the, in a blend, 458 kilos per hectare of polyalite in blend with 293 kilos per hectare of KCL. This blend supply the total K K K2O needs, 300 kilos per hectare, but supply to 55 kilos per hectare of calcium, almost 17 kilos per hectare of magnesium, and 88 kilos per hectare of sulfur. And finally, the effect of, uh, on the quality of the orange juice uh, it's possible to see that no significant positive or negative effect were observed on the percentage of the juice per fruit. The fruit has the, the same quantity of, the, of, the, of, of the juice, solid, solid content, and the, uh, the ratio on, on the orange fruit. But the, the characterization, general characterization of the juice in, uh, for, for our tratamentos with, with a, a juice with not a high amount of sugar, with low acidity, a drink with a pleasant consumption characteristic. But when we was calculate the amount, total amount of soluble uh, solid per area, multiplying the fruit yield by the percentage of the juice and by the bricks degree, the adjusted rate of polyalite to, to increase the, the, the significant increment in the total solid, solid per hectare was the 518 kilos per hectare. The increment, the, the, the total amount is very important to industrial value. And as conclusion of this trial, we observed a significant increment in leaf concentration of calcium, magnesium, sulfur, sulfur proportional to the rate of polyalite. Tratamentos with polyalite show the fruits with the large diameters, which significantly influence in the fruit yield, no effects in quality, 
but polylite showed a viable alternative for use in situ fertilization because it improves the nutritional balance with supplement of calcium, magnesium, sulfur, besides decreasing the salinity and increasing the yield potential of fruits. Thank you for, for this opportunity to present.